remix. Oh, yo, this is the 2017 remix of the top 10 countries with Africa's most beautiful women. Engage! I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Yo, what's up? Um, the last time I made a video on this topic, a lot of dudes got mad. And you know what's funny? It was, it was mostly African-American dudes that got mad talking about, yo, these, uh, these girls, they're, they're too light-skinned. They're not the original black woman. Um, uh, we are the African warrior princess aunt. What are you doing, black man? You hate yourself. Well, I don't know what accent that was, but yeah, that's the uh, reaction that I got from a whole bunch of African-American dudes. Funny thing about it is you can, you can pretty much tell they never traveled out of the country, out of the U.S., so they really don't know exactly what's going on in no Africa and what every girl looks like. But anyway, to appease you, here's that same video over again with dark-skinned women to um, put in the video in the places of where the pictures were that you hated with all of your heart. Oh, and another reason why I'm doing this video over again is because, you know, uh, it's real funny that that video has been up for almost a year. I put that up in like February. It stayed up there with not too many views all the way up until like November. Then all of a sudden in November, I started getting a lot of views. They said that Facebook changed their algorithm or something. So people were starting to have an easier time finding the video. Lo and behold, all of a sudden, I get a claim on the video. Someone's claiming that I use their footage. Some bogus group named Collab Creation, they say, oh, you're using our footage and you shouldn't be monetizing that. We want the money that you made monetizing that video. It's real funny how y'all wasn't interested in that video until it started uh, getting some views. And another thing that's real funny is they wouldn't tell me which part of the video they claimed I monetized. The company's name is Collab Creation. I mean, and you know that's a um, Dr. Dre lyric, Collab Creation, funk like acne, no doubt. So I don't, I mean, uh, the company sounds bogus to me. But anyway, YouTube gave them the benefit of the doubt and gave them ownership of my video. Never mind all of the work that I put in. If they claim that one or two pictures in there with some of their work, they get complete ownership of the entire video. Well, you know what, I left it up anyway because my main goal wasn't to make all of this money off that video anyway. My main goal was just to answer the dude's question that asked me that question that uh, prompted me to make the video. So you know what? Y'all can keep it. Here's the renewed version with those two things fixed. Top 10 African countries with the continent's most beautiful women. Number 10, Sudan. In 2011, after a civil war, South Sudan broke away from Sudan. I don't mean to make light of the situation, but it seems all the most beautiful women in this country stayed put in the north. With the fastest growing economy in the world, Sudan is cracking at the seams of oil money and beautiful women. These women are comfort to the eyeballs of someone looking for pure African beauty. Look for them in the cities of Khartoum, Omaran, and Port Sudan. Number nine, Morocco. These women have obvious African and Arab ancestry. The women in the kingdom of Morocco are tantalizing, but no nonsense. If you can get in where you fit in, you will wind up with a very beautiful African princess with exotic features. Try out your game and luck in the cities of Casablanca, Rabat, and Marrakesh. Number eight, South Africa. For over 100,000 years, tribes from all over Africa have moved south to this country. And with them came all the most beautiful women on the continent. If Africa was one country like the US, South Africa would be the Los Angeles of Africa. This country is very popular for tourists, so for beautiful women, try out the cities of Cape Town, Johannesburg, and Pretoria. The women are sexy, down to earth, and cooperative. Number seven, Ghana. We're better for a passport king to travel for superb looking women than a country that name means warrior king. The country was the first sub-Saharan country to gain its independence in 1957. The women of Ghana are just as stunning as the gold this country is known for and as luxuriously black as the oil spurting out of the grounds of Ghana. 
Go to Accra and Kumasi to find some of the most beautiful women on the planet. Number six, Nigeria. Located in Western Africa, people started to settle in this region as far back as 9000 BC. Today, Nigeria is also one of the fastest growing societies in the world. The women here look as if they have been indulged in brilliance. Beautiful faces and bodies are the norm here. Go to Lagos, Kano, and Ibadan to marvel at beautiful black women who seem to put sexy into overdrive. Alright, before I give you the top 5, I'm going to give you the honorable mentions. These are the countries who shared number 11 on this list. Egypt, Senegal, South Sudan, and Kenya. I wish I could put almost every country in Africa on this list because when African women get time to take care of their looks instead of tending to the men who are fighting off the other invading nations trying to steal their resources, they are truly some of the most beautiful women in the world. But hey, we know that already. Here's number five, Angola. Speaking of being invaded by evil empires, Angolans have one of the messiest histories with the forces of Portugal in the past and now China. Angola is and has always been some of the world's biggest producers of oil, bananas, and coffee. But as far as the women go, when you hear about and see all the beautiful women in Brazil, their ancestors are usually direct descendants of Angola. So yo, fly to the city of Luanda to see and meet the less watered down original versions of Brazil's beautiful women. Number four, Somalia. Located on what is called the Horn of Africa, Somalians have been around since the Paleolithic period. These women are gorgeous in a way that affects your soul. Traveling here is a risk because there is extreme unrest right now. But like I've always said on my shows, if you are melanated, chances are you'll have more of an innocuous time than those who are not. If you run into a Somalian woman in your travels and she has her head on straight, you will be awestruck by her loveliness and hypnotized by her affability. Number three, Eritrea. After the building of the Suez Canal in 1869, Eritrea was constantly bombarded with invaders from Europe, hell-bent on world domination. Afterwards, they fought a 30-year war for independence from Ethiopia to finally get their own independence in 1993. But conflict with Ethiopian and Djiboutian is still going on. But to meet one of the women from Eritrea is to meet an almost golden woman. They have beautiful skin, hair, and attitudes. Number two, Cape Verde. Cape Verde is right off the coast of Senegal. Of course, they were invaded by the Portuguese as well in the past. Also, in recent years, they have been leaving. This small country has suffered horrible food shortages. So, the best way to meet a woman from this country is actually in other countries. They usually speak Creole, and they are usually the skin tone of every race in the world mix. Some people hate that fact, but I think it is beautiful. It must be what God intended for us to do. Love each other and become one race, like an episode of Star Trek I've once seen. Sadly, the mixture of these women is far from a love story, and is riddled with stories of what could be considered hell on earth. But what they are today is quite possibly the most breathtaking looking women of any women on the face of the earth. And number one, Ethiopia. All scientists and scholars worth their degrees regard Ethiopia as where human life began. The women can be traced back 400,000 years. If Angolan women are the original Brazilians, Ethiopian women are the original women, period. When you meet an Ethiopian, you can just tell they are without them even opening their mouths. Human men are naturally drawn to them like water is drawn to land. They are so familiar, but at the same time so foreign. I guess they look like what all women would look like right now if there was no conquering, invading, occupying, and human destruction from people who couldn't just leave the rest of the world alone. Go to the city of Addis Ababa and you will meet the most beautiful women in Africa. Yo, the 2016 version of that video never said that those pictures that was on the video was the most beautiful women in Africa. It also never said that these were my girlfriends or something like that. In the beginning of that video, I said I never met these chicks. So I don't understand how the uh, complaint was, oh yeah, you don't know those girls. Why you ain't just take out your video camera and start recording things? I never said I did. One more thing, I got a whole lot more thumbs up comments than I got thumbs down comments. So I shouldn't spend so much time worrying about the smaller group when the bigger group all enjoyed the video. But for that bigger group, I'm hoping that this video is able to let you see it again. If, if the light skinned girls disturbed you for some strange reason on the last one, at least you get to see it again and you can enjoy that video and still learn about the nice countries in Africa and where you can meet some of the most beautiful women at. 
I know it was a ripoff to give you the uh, dark skin girls in America, but I thought it was funny because it really don't matter. So yo, don't put words in somebody's mouth and then argue that opinion. That's something that chicks do. Be diplomatic like a king. A passport king. Talk to y'all next week.